What's up guys, Restless Dude here, and welcome back to my Bayern career mode. We had a pretty good episode last time, as we managed to maintain our spot at the top of the Bundesliga with no difficulty whatsoever. We also managed to top our Champions League group, and we are set to face AS Monaco in the round of 16. Not to mention that we are currently in the semi-finals of the DFB Pokal. So in this episode, we'll play the round of 16 against Monaco, and if results go our way, we'll even play the quarterfinals. So before we get started, help this channel grow by clicking a like on the video and subscribing. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out my partner Eneba, an ever-growing marketplace for gamers. The link is in the description below. And we kick off the episode with a game against second place RB Leipzig. It was a 5-4 thriller in our favor in the first game against Leipzig, so hopefully we can get another win. Muller. Can we send Mane through? I think we can. And Mane opens the scoring against Leipzig. A great through ball from Muller and a brilliant finish from Mane. Nice, Mane out Coman. That's a foul, but Coman stays on his feet. Nice. Coman. Coman out to Muller. Now it's Goretzka. And Goretzka makes it 2 0 against Leipzig. Another assist from Muller, but this time it's Goretzka getting on the score sheet. Man, this is going much smoother than the first game. This, this time we're the ones taking uh, the lead, not the other way around. Davies. Davies out to Sadio Mane. And it's 3 0 against Leipzig. I think it's over. Davies, the roadrunner, with the assist. A great run be before that as well. And money with a simple finish from a close range. I think we can just jump to result. Yeah, I don't think Leipzig are coming back from this. They're not us. And there we go. 3-0 is the end result. Now we have a game against Bochum. Let's just quick send this game with our first team. What's gonna happen here? And it's a 2-1 win for us. Now we have a game against Ford, but I'm gonna quick sim it with my second team because we have AS Monaco a few days later. And the second team gets the job done in very convincing fashion. 5-1 win. Here we go, the first leg against AS Monaco in the Champions League round of 16. Our first team is fully rested, so we shouldn't have no problem against this Monaco team. Kimmich. Muller. Out to Mane. Can we send Mane through? Yep. Mane is true, and Mane makes it 1-0. Finally, we get one of these true balls, right? And Mane scores the first goal in this round of 16 tie. Muller, out to Mane. Can Mane score our second? He absolutely can. 2-0 against Monaco. And to be honest, I think it's kind of against the run of play, because... Monaco have been the ones with all the chances in this match. From corners, from open play, from everything. But we're the ones who are getting, who are finishing our chances, so there's that. Let's try our luck. What's gonna happen here? Will it go in? Wow. Imagine if that went in. That would have been some goal. Muller. Out to Mane. And Mane completes his hat trick. 3-0 against AS Monaco. Sonny should have scored that free kick because that was one unique free kick if I do say so myself. But in the end, we do get our third goal and I think the tie is done. But why stop there? Oh no 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 no, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Nice deal. But the danger is still there. Whoa whoa whoa, Delict, what are you doing? Okay, Dilek, what was that for defense? That was the worst defending I've ever seen. Why did you leave that guy alone? And Monaco get a goal back, which is not what I want. Davies. Out to Coman. Now Mane. Mane is true. And Mane scores his fourth of the game, as well as our own. And we get our three goal advantage back. Mazarawi. Kimmich, Muller, out to Goretzka, but let's do this, and Mane scores his fifth, unbelievable, Mane single-handedly won us this side, 
five goals, making it 5-1 against Monaco in the first leg itself. And that's the full time whistle as we secure a 5-1 win in the first leg against Monaco. And I think the job is done because I don't see Monaco coming back from a 4 goal deficit in the second leg. I just don't see it. Our team is just way too good, so we'll just quick sim the second leg. Now we have a game against Frankfurt, but I'm gonna take my chances and quick sim this game with my first team. Wow, Frankfurt beat us 2-1. I did not expect this, especially when we played our first team. Hopefully we can get it right in this game against Leverkusen. Again, quick simming with my first team. Now that's more like it, 3-1 win over Leverkusen. But that victory against Leverkusen came at a price, as Lucas Hernandez picked up a 3-month injury. It's a good thing we have Upamecano who can fill in in the absence of Hernandez. And Nianzo is gonna be our third choice center back. Quick simming this game against Hoffenheim with my first team, what's gonna happen here? Another loss, are you serious? How is my first team losing to the likes of Hoffenheim? Well anyway, let's just quick sim the second leg against AS Monaco with our second team, we're gonna go through. They beat us 2-1, but it doesn't matter, in the end it's a 6-3 aggregate win for us. Now a game against Union Berlin, quick simming this with my first team, what's gonna happen here? Oh my god, more drop points. At least it's not a loss this time, but still, we should be beating Union Berlin. At least we still have a 6 point lead at the top, but still, dropping a lot of points like that is unacceptable. So the Champions League World Final draw has been made, but first let's see the other teams that made it through. Wait what, Trabzonspor knocked out Liverpool in the round of 16, 3-2 on aggregate? Okay, what is this Trabzonspor team on? How are they beating the likes of Liverpool? Well anyway, Manchester City go through as well, we of course go through, Sevilla go through after knocking out Milan on penalties, Chelsea go through, Inter go through, Leverkusen and Barcelona go through. So let's see, in the quarterfinals we'll be up against Chelsea. Okay, I am not looking forward to this, especially if Chelsea are playing that 5 at the back formation. But to be the best you gotta beat the best. Anyway, Sevilla vs Barcelona, Inter vs Leverkusen, and Manchester City vs Trebzonspor. Those are the other ties. And right after this Freiburg game, we have the first leg against Chelsea, so I'm quick simming this game with my second team, what's the result gonna be? And finally, the second team got it together and got a 2-0 win. And indeed, Chelsea are using that annoying 5 at the back system. Well, this is gonna be fun. I have no idea how we're gonna get through their defense, but we gotta try. Oh no 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 no, Havertz! Havertz opens the scoring. I feel like this is totally undeserved. We were the ones with all the chances in this uh, first half. But, and yet, Chelsea are the ones who take the lead. Well, we got work to do. Kimmich? Okay, I need some support, come on. Okay, Muller? We still have the ball, Kimmich, it's Mane, and we finally get our well-deserved goal, equalizing against Chelsea just before the end of the first half. And who else but Sadio Mane to score the goal? Typical Sadio Mane this season, scoring goals for fun, just like Lewandowski did. Mazarawi, Kimmich, Muller, Muller out to Coman, Coman is true. And Common gives us the lead in this side. 2-1 against Chelsea. 20 minutes to go. Maybe we can score another one. As long as we don't concede, I'm good with this result. Common. Mane. Musiala. Whoa, what are Chelsea doing? Letting Musiala run like that. Musiala comes off the bench after uh, Common scored the goal. And he makes an impact already. But yeah, to be honest, that was all on Chelsea. What were they doing letting Musiala run like that? Look at that. Like, who is that defender? Is that Koulibaly just leaving Musiala free like that? Yeah, that was shocking from Chelsea. Well, we make it 3-1. Sané. Out to Gravenberg. It's common. Common is true. And Common makes it 4-1 against Chelsea. I think the tie is done. I don't see Chelsea com coming back from this. 
common scores is second, I believe. And with this result, I think we're set to, to I think we're set for the semi-finals of the Champions League. And there we go, it's the full-time whistle. A 4-1 win over Chelsea in the first leg. And I think that's a good enough result to just quick sim the second leg. Now let's quick sim this game against Augsburg. What's gonna happen here? I'm pretty much using my first team. And it's another 3-1 win for us. Making some rotations for the second leg against Chelsea, but either way, I think we're just gonna get through the for a second leg without uh, any worries, and we do. A 1-0 win over Chelsea, 5-1 win on aggregate, and we're in the semi-finals of the Champions League. So all the quarterfinals have been played, and in the semi-finals we could be up against Barcelona, Inter, or Manchester City. So let's see, in the semi-finals we are set to face Inter Milan. Nice, we got the easiest draw of the bunch. Yeah, I'd rather face Inter than Barcelona or Manchester City. For now, we're gonna quick sim this game against Bielefeld with our first team. What's gonna happen here? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bielefeld beat us 1-0, and I used my, my first team. What is wrong with this game? We should be winning games like this easily. And due to those stupid simulations, our lead at the top is now down to 3 points. Frankfurt are right behind us. 4 games remaining, so I guess we'll have to take those games seriously from now on. For now though, we're gonna wrap up the episode with this DFB Pokal semi-final against Waldhof. They're in the third division of German football, so I think we can afford to use our second team. Musiala, out to Zabitzer. Zabitzer on the run. Zabitzer, out to Musiala. Musiala still on the ball. Is Sadio Mane onside there? He is onside. Sadio Mane strikes again for Bayern Munich. As expected. Yeah, Sadio Mane is a machine, a goal machine, just like Lewandowski was. We're not missing Lewandowski whatsoever. Sadio Mane. Out to Gravenberg. Gravenberg shoots. And he actually scores. How did he score that? I thought the keeper was going to save it because that looked like it was straight at the keeper. Yeah, I gotta see that again. Okay, there we go. Mane lays it off for Gravenberch. I think the keeper should have done much better there. Yeah, at least to uh, move a foot or two. Yeah, he, he didn't even move. Or maybe he just got caught by surprise there. Nabry out to Musiala. Okay, Musiala gets the ball there. Out to Sadio Mane. Can we finish the game right here? We absolutely can. 3-0 against this. Waldhof team, if I remember the name correctly. Well, regardless, 3-0 up, I think we're set to, uh, to... We're set for the final. Yeah, let's just quick sim the remainder of this game. Yeah, Waldhof is the name of this team. Jump to, jump to result. And 3-0 is the end result. And the DFB Pokal final is set to be between us and Mainz, who beat Leverkusen in their semi-final. But all that is going to be in the next episode, which will be the season finale. And as it stands, we are in the semi-finals of the Champions League, in the DFB Pokal final, and with a 3-point advantage at the top of the Bundesliga table. So we are on for a treble. Thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you have not, that'd be greatly appreciated. And as for me, restless dude out.